Well, let's see if M and N are parallel. Uh, let's see, I, I've got four ways to prove this in our chapter, and let's have a look. The first one, corresponding angles. Well, one and two would be corresponding, but the angles we've got marked are not. How about alternate interior? Well, I guess if this were angle two, and if these two angles were congruent, uh, that would satisfy this theorem, and we don't have that either. How about alternate exterior angles? So that would be these two angles. And you know what? We don't have that either. Now, if I was given that these two angles were supplementary, that, well, that could work. But, you know, I don't have that either. So it looks like I don't have any way of demonstrating that these are parallel. And if I were to manipulate this drawing, I can see you know, they're not. Remember, yeah, I suppose they could they could be, but sometimes means no. And of course, they would have to both be right angles. But otherwise, clearly, they are not parallel. Well, how about angles M and N now? And right off the bat, I can see that, yes, corresponding angles are congruent. I've got them right here and right here. And therefore, the lines are parallel. Now this diagram is a little more exciting because I've got four lines, but right now we're asked to see if M and N are parallel. Those would be the two blue or horizontal lines. And all I've got here, well I've got a pair of angles marked, but those are vertical angles. It's pretty useless to me. I don't have this, no corresponding angles marked, no alternate interior angles, no alternate ex exterior angles, and no uh, supplementary consecutive interior angles. So. I would say, no. As a matter of fact, I'll take this drawing and manipulate it like this. The red, the red lines are not parallel, and neither are the blue ones. Let's see if the blue lines, M and N, are parallel. Again, we've got two sets of lines. And sure enough, it's corresponding angles, no. Alter interior, no. But 3, 5, look at that. I've got an angle here and here. And this is my transversal. And that would tell me that the lines are parallel. Now, that's the blue lines. Now, they didn't ask, well, what about the red lines? Well, we don't know anything about the red lines. So the blue lines are parallel. The red lines are not. Well, here's our multi-step exercise. We're going to first answer these two questions, the angles of DCG and CGH. Well, DCG... And I see is bound right there. And I can get that from angle addition. Just going to add those two angles together. They're adjacent angles, they share a ray. And CGH, well, that would be over here. These two angles are a linear pair and therefore supplementary. Now, um, describe the relationship between these measures. Well, if you take the measures, those two measures, of course, add to 180 degrees. I know these two are consecutive interior angles, so I could use theorem 3.6 to say that the lines are parallel. Now, interestingly enough, I could have just as well used 115 here and its corresponding angle as well. But this multi-step problem wanted us to find these two. So there you have it. The lines are parallel. Well, here's an easy one. Number 19, are A and B parallel? Let's just add those angles together, and that's going to tell me, yes, consecutive interior angles are supplementary. That makes A and B parallel. Here's an easy one, number 20. Angle addition gives us 114 degrees down here. Got 114 degrees there. Those are alternate exterior angles, and that makes the lines parallel. Well, I've got a pair of 144 degree angles. That tells me I've got... Um, Two congruent angles here. Do I have a pair of parallel lines? I don't know. Either one, the blue or the purple. And I'm going to say no. Neither case. Because in, in all cases here, these two angles that are congruent, they're not even connected to the same transversal. So it's just not going to work. No parallel lines in this picture. Okay, error analysis. Um, Sam student is saying that the purple lines are parallel, but we know better. I'm using this red transversal, and those angles are 
touching the lines A, B, and D, C. So it looks to me like that's my parallel lines, the blue ones. And I'll write it this way, A, B parallel to D, C. And I know my reason. My reason is that they are alternate interior angles. Now, just to drive the point home, let's move this drawing around and demonstrate that the purple lines indeed are not parallel. You got, uh, you're going to see this diagram a lot in your proofs. You got to pay attention to the tick marks. Only the blue lines are parallel here. Well, here's a very interesting diagram. The only givens we have that angles one and four are congruent. Now, I can see a problem right away. They're, they're not corresponding. They're not alternate interior, alternate exterior, or consecutive interior angles. Because, in fact, they're not on the same transversal. I'm looking at them and thinking they're not really related. Watch this. Let me take this point and move it in like this. Right there, you can see I've preserved the relationship. One and four are still congruent but neither pair of the lines are parallel. So that takes away this and this, and angle two is not congruent to three. So your answer, the only answer is none of the above. Well, here's a great exercise. I've got the purple and the blue line, J and K, being crossed by the red transversal, and you see eight of these angles here generated. And I say, well, Let's suppose I make them parallel, so I'm going to make J parallel to K. And let's suppose I know the measure of the red angle. I don't care what number it is, I just know that, that angle. I'm looking for relationships. Then I know angle 5 is congruent to angle 1 because they are, of course, corresponding angles. Parallel lines, postulate 15 makes corresponding angles congruent. And over here, both of these, 1 is vertical to 4, 5 is vertical to 8, so all the red angles, well using the transitive property, all the red angles are congruent as well. Now I could take the supplements, either using linear pairs or consecutive interior angles for angles 2 and 5, and do the same exercise to show that all the blue ones are congruent. So if I know one measurement of, if I have parallel lines and I know one of these angles, I know them all.